Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can highlight any changes between two data lists. I want to do it first of all in the same file, and then I want to do it from a separate file. So first of all, this one. Now I've got two identical lists here. I'm just going to change, well, I'll wait until I've done it actually. I'll just highlight this list, go to conditional and then manage, and then add. So I want to use is not equal to, so not equal to, and I'm going to click into this area. So basically, if these cells are not equal to these cells, and I need to click on the A1 there, you'll notice that it puts dollar signs on. You need to remove the dollar signs. You can't have dollar signs on there, otherwise it'll just lock the first cell. So I'll just take that off. No dollar signs, and then select the format you want. So I'll go bad. So that's what I want it to do. Clicking OK to that and then OK again. Now, if I change some of these, you can see it colors up. And if I just put something else there, that automatically will highlight the changes. So that's a conditional formatting that's going to highlight the changes there between two lists. Now, if I just minimize this slightly, I've got the same list in a different file. So this file is called compare one. This is called compare two. And I want to compare these, just make these a little bit smaller, with in this file with the other file. So we just okay, I'll drag it in manually because it's not letting me double click. That one did. So again, I'm gonna get myself here. If I can't use conditional formatting. It won't let me do it. But what I can use is a formula. I'm going to use an if function. So in this cell here, I'm going to type equals if, open the bracket. So if that cell there is not equal to, and this could be quite a big um, list, I'll do this one. That one, you see it's putting the file path in there. If that's true, it's not equal to it, comma, I want it to say changed. Inside quotes, that's got to go. And then if it is the same, I want it just to be blank. Don't, don't show me anything. If I tick that. That one's blank because it is the same. Pull that down and then pull all of that down. And then you can see the ones that have changed because that says tax, this says food, changed. And then you can go into conditional formatting and add and basically say if it's not equal to blank I'll go for this time that can be format red bad as well so those should up, pull it up red which they do so that's just a quick little video how you can use conditional format in a single file to highlight what's what has changed between two lists and then how you can do a formula to achieve the same thing from a list in one file against a list in another file. So hopefully that is okay. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.